Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt Lane, and today is part 12 of Bloodborne. Back after 48 years of silence. I don't know how many years it was. Uh, probably zero, but it, needless to say, it has been a while, and I did an update video kind of letting y'all know where I was, why I was gone, yada yada yada, all that intel. And I'm trying to remember before I do something stupid if... Uh, okay, I'm good. Um, <laughs> sorry, before I sidetracked, which will happen a lot if any of you have watched before. Just be prepared for it. I chased rabbits. Rabbit, rabbit. So I, I got a new job um, working at a different place, and it had a completely different schedule, which is a good thing. It was a good schedule change in my favor, and just had to acclimate to it. Didn't want to rush things. Didn't want you know to have to be able to make videos quick and for it to lose quality because that because I, I just like to do this for fun anyway so if it wasn't fun then why would it do it but needless to say i am back and to give an update on where we are in episode 11 if you'll go back and watch we fought the dark beast and the shadow of yarnum i like to call it shadows because there's three of them but it's technically shadow of yarnum and that means now we're in the bergenworth area which is a catch-22. It's one of my favorite areas in thought. <laughs> and in one of my least favorite areas in actuality. Because this sounded so awesome when you're hearing about it and then you get here and it is the shortest area in the game as far as an overall area goes. You get through this stupid quick. That being said, don't know what happened. And this was before my hiatus actually. Um, I tried to record a Bergenworth episode, and I don't know what happened. The audio was fine, and something happened with the Elgato to where it did not record the video correctly. It was, like, just skipping around everywhere, and it looked fine during, so I didn't know this until I had already gone through the majority of the area. Uh, then I finally caught a glimpse of something acting weird. And then I checked it, and lo and behold, it was it was messed up. So, here I am, which is why all the enemies in this area are kind of already dead. And I actually got in there, which really kind of irritates me, because one of the little, uh, we call them mini-bosses, I guess, uh, was in that room. And once you kill them, they stay dead permanently. And there's no way I can go back and show you that unless I start all the way from the beginning of the game with a different character. And run all the way through just to get to that point. And I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you guys, but I don't have that much time to do that. Um, so that happened. Kind of frustrating. I did keep playing video games during that time. I just knew I didn't have time to record and then to edit and all that stuff. But I did keep playing, so I created another profile of Bloodborne just to play for fun and kicks and giggles. And by this point, Jay and John can tell you if you ever talk to either of them, I've played Bloodborne a lot. Uh, <laughs> and you can go check out their channel. I have a link to link to both of them. It's somewhere on this video. It's Let's Jays and John Johnson LPs. Sure, if you're watching this, you probably watched one of them or have heard of them. Or if not, go check them out. But they're good friends of mine, and um, Jay's, Let's Jay is actually starting to get into Bloodborne too, so I'm going to be trying to do some of that with them if I can, and we're both pretty busy, so it's hard to find time to. Chasing rabbits again. Woo! But I promise there will be gameplay in this video, and I'm just going to talk to you here off the whole time. It's just been gone for so long, so I just want to talk to you guys. I'm sorry. It's just, I, I like talking. So I've, I've beaten this game multiple times now. I, I have, even in the only two to three months that I've, I think it's two, yeah. Because I started in, well, no, I started in July. So, however long that's been, <laughs> I don't feel like doing math right now, was the last time I uh, did anything, if I remember right, because I know that's when I started. It may have even been June, since the last time I did record anything, because I, I knew about the job in the summer, so I was already just prepping and getting ready for it. Um, so, I've beaten this game multiple times now, so I kind of know the ifs, ands, or buts. I feel really bad about this area, because this is cool, even though it's short, but everything's unlocked now. All these enemies are dead for the most part. Except for some of the ones that um, I didn't kill in this go around. And so pretty much I'm just going to walk around and let y'all see the area. Um, I'm sure you can watch multiple other YouTube videos if you want to see what 
a lot of the enemies look like here. Um, I'm not, on one hand I'm upset because y'all don't get to see, on the other hand I'm not upset because these guys are a bunch of freaking a-holes. I freaking hate <laughs> the things here and I currently can't remember what they're called exactly. Um, I'll put something on the screen saying what their actual name is. I feel kind of dumb not remembering, but they don't act, they never tell you the names of any of these things in the game. You, the only way you can figure it out is by looking it up on the internet or having the actual strategy guide, which I do both from time to time, depending on how quick I want to find it. So the whole gist of this area is kind of, you know, the spooky, everything around it dead, more or less college known as Bergenworth. And the last thing we knew was that this is where Willem is, or the or the where he spent the most of his time, and this is where all his studies or uh, people that study under him, his disciples, whatever you want to call them, would go to. And you know their motto: fear the old blood, yada yada yada. There's all that between multiple people, and this is really it, like. Sadly, I know you may be thinking, well, why don't you walk all around? Um, there, there is no, all like that. This building is the same building you see on the other side, and then there's the front of it, which has a lake in front of it, and that's it. And there's nothing in the front other than that flower enemy that you see right there, and then there's nothing else in the front right now because I've killed everything, uh, except for two enemies that are going to be on the top of this thing, and you can't see them from this side, but. Don't worry, they're going to run off because I don't even feel like dealing with them because they're a-holes. <laughs> and we're going to get to the top of this madness. And we are going to take care of business. Today, we are going to be fighting Rom. That's more than likely all we're going to do today. I think I've already got everything. Yep, because the door's open. And they already jumped. See these two ugly <laughs> looking things? Whatever they are, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yeah. Those guys suck. Biggest reason they suck is because they cause what is called frenzy, which is the most pain in the rear freaking element of this game. They're similar. I've, I've had similar things happen in other games before. I just can't remember to point them out. But what happens is your bar of frenzy starts building up when they do a certain attack to you. And even after you kill them, frenzy just keeps building up. And if you don't have enough resistance to it, once that meter fills, it takes away like 90 plus percent of your health immediately. It just, just kills it. <laughs> That's what Frenzy does. <laughs> and uh, so obviously if you get hit with Frenzy twice, you're screwed. So in this area, it's very important to have Frenzy resistance. Now, this is going to be a little, a bit of, another bit of a letdown because I also, this is the point that I made it to. <laughs> before I realized what was happening and I was very pissed off. Uh, Willem is right here in a chair, in a rocking chair and I I kid him. I killed him. You do not have to kill him if you don't want to but he drops an item and there's no benefit to not killing him. Just being honest with you. But he drops a pretty good item so I just suggest killing him in all honesty because he's brain dead at this point anyway so you're actually doing him a favor when you do that. You can look into that lore stuff later. He's just... He dealt too deeply with the Great Ones, man. He got too deep in. Couldn't get out. This is also one of the meanest parts of the game as far as figuring out where the frick to go because this place is so small and you cover it so quickly. You're like, okay, that wasn't too hard. And then you're sitting there like, okay, where the F do I go? And before this point, there's been a lot of different areas on the games where you can fall off and water has always been death <laughs> up until this point. Always. You, you cannot get, at least when it's like this, if it's puddles or something, sure. Uh, but like something like this, there's nothing you can do. But when Willem's here, if you try to talk to him, he keeps pointing in this direction. And if you get close enough, you can see down there where there's kind of like a little glowing spot where the moon, I guess, is just hitting it just right. And that, my friends, is what you are supposed to do. You are supposed to run off and get there. And before we do that, because that's where Rom is, that's the next boss. I need to make sure there's any items I need. We can equip that. Bolt paper. He's actually, Rom is actually weak to bolt. So if you have anything that does that, that is going to be clutch. 
If you don't, well, just use fire paper. Let's go! Mm. 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 This is also kind of a confusing part of the game, and you don't really quite know how to handle it when it happens. What up, buddy? What you doing? From this angle, I mean, it, you can tell it's odd, whatever it is, but it looks kind of pretty. Like, you know, it's glowing, it's got the spider legs, that's kind of off-putting, but, you know, further Mars spot. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, then it looks kind of ugly. This is one of the, this is the only boss I can ever do this with, so forgive me. I know this episode has been nothing but talking, but so far, I'm sorry, but this is the only boss I can do this with, so I want to do it. I can talk while being right in front of this boss and tell you everything you need to know about him without him attacking me. <laughs> you can't do that any other time in the game. They're trying to murder you. So if you need to know anything about this guy, there's two things. One, the, he's weak to bolt. So if you have any weapon that does bolt damage, if you have a rune that's causing bolt damage to happen, if you anything in between, bolt is going to help you here. Two, don't hit his head because it ain't going to do you any good. Consider that armor. So you want to go for the body. The body, my body, tell me yeah. Yeah, it's about time to fight something because I'm getting super loopy. So without further ado... Let's do this. Keep in mind, once you start this, it's going he's gonna launch his little spider buddies. Which I have some advice about that. Okay, first off, find him. It, you're gonna think to yourself that that might have caused some Oh shoot. I didn't notice he launched that. Okay. Stay close, and that'll happen. You want that one, because that one is easier to dodge than his other one. <laughs> Piss. 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 I got too far away is what happened. That's the one you want to avoid. The ones that come from the sky are the ones that you do not want to deal with. You want to deal with with the ones oh I've seen that before that uh come from under the ground because there's a radius that it does and once you get outside of that radius you're essentially good you know you won't get hurt now this is very important see that he ducks his tail up and then they come from underneath and I backed up enough to where they're not gonna be a problem that's what you want oh piss 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 that's what you want to do for the most part. You want that tail fin to come up, you want to back up a little bit, and then you're golden. Okay? It's super annoying when he keeps doing it all the time. Because you need to kill these mofos right here. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm giving you a warning. Every time you notice when when I hit him a lot, he spun, he disappeared, and then he reappeared in another area and then summoned more of them. He's gonna do that every time that he disappears. And if you <laughs> Before you know it, you're going to have an army of mother effing spiders coming at you, and it's not a fun time. Luckily, I have a pretty good bit of arcane defense combination of what I am wearing and um, the runes that I have equipped. He, Ron is arcane power, is what he has, so if you have anything that has... Resistance to that, that's going to be the way to go. Now, I know this fight seems kind of boring right now, but it is very pertinent that I deal with these jokers now. Especially in my opinion. The way I want to do this, I need to take care of them now. Stop chasing me. And these little mini ones are the same same way. If you uh, if you try to go for their head, it ain't going to do you jack. Get out the way. Get some fire paper again. There's no spiders now. I can go to town on him without any problems. Now he does have... Um, he does have one... Sorry, I keep saying he. It's actually a she. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! No! <laughs> I got greedy. I got greedy. 
I wanted the kill. That's his AoE. That's her AoE, sorry. I keep saying he. Dang. One more hit. Yeah. Okay. See, that wasn't so bad. It really wasn't. Uh, Rom's actually a girl. I'm sorry I keep saying he. It's a semantical thing in my head. I'm just used to it. But it's actually stated it is a female. Hmm. It's like they updated something. Normally, you see that chick in the distance, but there seems to be two objects out there further, but I can't tell what they are. Very important. If you need to do anything else that you think is pertinent before changing the time of day, as we know, that changes every time you kill a boss, it gets later into the night. If you need to do anything, do that now. You can bolt Hunter's Mark, which will take you back to the previous lamp that you were last at, and it'll let you get the heck out of there, and then wherever you need to be. Uh, so, that was wrong. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and see this little clip here, and then that's going to be it for this episode, and we'll talk a little bit after that. But I'm going to see if... I don't know what the heck these two items are over here. I'm going to see if it'll let me get to those. Interesting. All right. It's those big things. And <laughs> I still can't remember the name of them. Um, whatever those things were called. Okay, I wonder, because I know... Hmm... <laughs> Hmm. I know there were still three in that area. There were two that jumped off the bridge, and there was one hiding behind the flower thing I pointed out earlier. Wow. I've never... Because any time I've ever gone through here, I've always killed these things before. I wonder if you just don't touch them, if all the ones that are in there show up dead after you kill Rom. That is cool. <laughs> that is awesome. One of the other reasons I just love this game, okay? They just keep throwing things at you. I'm going to shut up now, and we're going to go... Check this thing out. It's so pretty. Too, too much. Really. And load screen. <laughs> that's all you get. So, that's actually a very pivotal scene. And uh, it's what confuses a lot of people who aren't used to Bloodborne. If you've never played the game, you see stuff like that, and you're like, okay, what did that just tell me? A lot. But the way this game works is they're going to give you some visuals and you're going to see some stuff or they're going to have something in writing you're going to read it and it's going to make no sense at the time and you're going to get into the next area and start finding more info and it's going to start to reveal what that was talking about so that gave some info it's just you don't know how to use that info yet if that makes sense the ritual secret is broken seek the nightmare newborn so, there's a lot of theories. There's probably more theories about Ron than there are anything else in Bloodborne, almost, I dare to say. It, it's all up for interpretation since this is a heavy lore game, but there's a lot of things on Ron because a ton of things change once you kill her. A ton. For starters, you can see these turds now. Sup, Tulu? As Garen? You can see them. They are everywhere now I mean everywhere including the places you've already been and you learn a major secret and I miss those guys for a purpose because this is just, this is the most BS freaking thing ever see they dug into the ground like they do there's two snipers up there and there's an executioner <laughs> out here that's just Man, I don't even I don't even like to talk about stuff like that. That's just crap, is what that is. So, these guys are everywhere now. They're all over the place. And I'm actually going to run down here to show you where we are before I let him grab me. 
we have been here, but we haven't been here. I know that's very descriptive. <laughs> Yar Hargul Unseen Village. Come at me, bro. Woo! Suck it! <laughs> it's been long overdue. I actually forgot to say suck it whenever I killed Rom, so that was needed. Now, it's very important to note what just happened there. That's the first enemies you've ever seen appear out of nowhere right in front of you. And it seems kind of strange, probably because it should. That could be considered a trap. I don't really worry about it. Because he, he will block you in or you, you have to fight him. I mean, it's just a weak enemy, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, if you had low health, I guess that would be pertinent to do something else before going there. I wanted to come here first and get the lamp. This is the exterior area of the Hypogean Jail, is what it's actually called, which is Yarhargirl. So, it, whatever you want to call it, that little end here we were in is the jail part and now we're on the outskirts of that area where we first see the um i can't remember what they're freaking ah it's gonna hit by a sniper bullet where were you have good aim sir <laughs> you have good aim the giant robbers i don't know what else to call them i i can't remember any freaking name i promise i'm gonna polish up and get back to with these names i promise um the things that would kill you and then throw you in their sack and take you to this secret hidden place the first time you die from them, whatever those guys were called. And you see that this guy that I just killed is back. That's important to note, and there will be answers, but not today. There will be answers on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. It's been fun, guys. I am so glad to be back. I'm sorry it took so long. Just wanted to really make sure that I was just going to be stress-free and just have fun whenever I got back. I didn't want to be worried about anything. I just wanted to get in here, play games, act stupid, and do what I always do, which is act stupid. Let's be honest. But I thank y'all for watching. We have a lot more answers in next episode. I promise there's a ton of info. I can't even stress enough how much info just happened, and I want to talk about a lot of it. I know I didn't talk about a lot of lore in the previous episodes up until now. This is episode 12. And I've been thinking about it, and a lot of the people that watch mine, I don't know if they watch the Bloodborne stuff or not. And I don't want to go into it in over-the-top detail, because I just want to play and have fun. I want to sit here and talk about the intricacies of the game the whole time. But I do want to talk about some of the info, just because it's freaking cool, and I want to hear ideas of it. I know. <laughs> that gummit man! <laughs> I've rambled on enough. I've chased enough rabbits today. Guys and girls, it has been great to be back. I am so excited. I am so freaking ready to get back and just do more stuff and have fun. And man, let's just, let's do this. We will see y'all next time. Whoosh out.